Hello everyone, here's an update on my uh, 75 gallon aquarium plant it tank. I still don't have my CO2 running, but I've been using the liquid CO2 boost and it seems to be doing just as good a job. Just find that it's a little more costly, especially with the amount that I have to use. I use uh, approximately uh, 10 mils every single day, right when the lights turn on. I'm um, actually looking at getting a doser so I don't have to worry about that stuff. Uh, as for this tank here, I can classify it as fairly low maintenance. I do fertilize it though daily, but I have it measured out. So I give it uh, two different separate uh, doses. One's micro and one's macro. I bought them from the plant guy out of Winnipeg. They're a dry fertilizer and you uh, mix them with distilled water. Uh, let it sit for a day and then you just measure out exact amount per gallons. Uh, I find that that fertilizer is the best I've used so far and the cost effectiveness is 10 bucks like every six months or maybe 20 every six I know it's not that much it's extremely cheap but uh, as you can see my dwarf sag is growing out of control I bought one bunch I'm gonna say maybe six months ago and uh, it's pretty much carpet at the bottom of the tank I've been propagating it and moving it over to different areas to help it promote um, I have this really thin green leafy plant here. I'm not exactly sure what type it is. It came in uh, with one of my fish one time, just a small little sprig of it. Uh, and then a couple months later, I have this. So I'm quite pleased with it. I like it. I, I throw a lot of it out. I give some to the local pet stores as a gift to the employees that work there because they're usually all pretty good to me. But I've also added a few new fish to my aquarium. Um, I picked up, and I can't remember the name of it, a new little pike cichlid. They're, these guys are get about six inches long. I picked up two. I'm looking at probably getting two more. I didn't think they'd get along with my Regani, but as of right now, there's been zero issues. My female Regani here along with the male. For some reason, their color has been subpar. Maybe for the last month and a half after they bred. So maybe it's just that season and, you know, maybe they only really color up when it's breeding season or that. But they're eating healthy. I'm feeding them chopped uh, scallop and chopped shrimp, uh, followed up with a little bit of bloodworms. Uh, I added 10 Odessa barbs. I have four left. They jumped. Uh, like every new fish I add to my aquarium, uh, maybe because I use the EcoComplete substrate or maybe it's because I dose with fertilizer every day or my large water changes but every new fish I get I guaranteed I'm gonna get ick. It drives me bonkers. Not sure why this happens uh, so when I added the pikes they were my last fish that I added I did a drip of over two hours with the airline tubing uh, no ick. So Maybe for future reference, when I go to add fish, I can't just float them and dunk them. I need to do a drip procedure to acclimate them or acclimatize them over to the aquarium and the aquarium uh, parameters. But uh, that's what I'll be doing for the future. But Just an update on my tank. Uh, thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe.